Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at doing a trigonometric substitution integral with bounds. So we have a definite integral that's going to require trigonometric substitution. So let's take a look here. We've got a radical that we can't do a u substitution for. So what we're going to do is we're going to let, or actually what we should say is we want, so we want 4x squared to become a trig function. So in this case, the trig identity we want to use, since we have one or a number minus a variable squared, basically I'd want that to turn into one minus sine squared. So what I could say is I want the four x squared to become sine squared theta. That way I could use my trig identity, one minus sine squared theta will become cosine theta. So if that's the case, I can just solve for x at this point. So now I'll solve for x to figure out what the substitution should be. So now I'll solve for x. And first divide both sides by 4. So that's going to give us x squared equals 1 over 4 sine theta. Okay. Oh, sine squared theta, sorry. Sine squared theta. Then x will take the square root on both sides x will be one half sine theta and if you saw that a lot quicker don't you don't have to necessarily go through all these steps it will help whenever you do completing the square and more complicated radicals to kind of follow these steps but um, this is the substitution we need to make x equals one half sine theta so then the dx our derivative of x with respect to theta is going to be one half cosine theta d theta. All right, so we're going to substitute these in, but we're also going to change the bounds. So if x is equal to um, 1 over 4, so if x is 1 over 4, then that means that uh, 1 half sine theta is equal to 1 over 4 multiply both sides by 2, we tell it, that tells us that sine theta should be equal to 1 half. So sine theta should be 1 half. Well, what angle between 0 and pi over 2 do I take the sine of to get 1 half? Well, that tells me theta must be pi over 6. Likewise, if x is equal to the square root of 3 over 4, that would also be equal to one half sine theta. So that would tell me that sine theta would need to be square root of three over two. So what angle between zero and pi over two would give me the square root of three over two when I take the sine? Well, that's gonna be pi over three. So our integral is gonna to change to be the integral from pi over six to pi over three square roots of, well, 1 minus sine squared theta, because that's how we set up our substitution to work out. And then dx, we said, is 1 half cosine theta d theta. All right, so now 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared, so this becomes the integral from pi over 6 to pi over 3 and that's one half cosine squared theta d theta all right so now hmm i have to actually turn cosine squared into cosine 2 theta by using the power reduction formula so cosine squared theta so power reduction formula is cosine squared theta equals one half times 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. Some people call it the double angle formula, the half angle formula, or the power reduction formula. So that's what we're going to use. And we're going to basically change this into 1 half 1 plus cosine 2 theta. So this is going to be, I'm going to pull that 1 half of the, that was already there, I'm going to pull that out. Integral from pi over 6 to pi over 3. Now, cosine squared is 1 half 1 plus cosine of 2 theta 
d theta. So that one half and that one half, I can make that one over four. And then integrate one, we just get theta plus integral of cosine of two theta would be one half sine of two theta. And now we want these to both go from pi over six to pi over three. All right, so that's gonna be one over four times pi over three minus pi over six plus one half times sine of two pi over three minus the sine of two pi over six. And got a lot of parentheses going on here, so just keep them straight. And this is gonna be one over four times pi over three minus pi over six is really two pi over six minus pi over six, which is just pi over six. So find a common denominator there. You really just need a two over two as your common denominator is six plus one half times the sine of two pi over three. Well, that's in quadrant two. The reference angle is pi over three, so this can be square root of three over two, positive, minus the sine of well, 2 pi over 6 is the same as pi over 3, so this can be square root of 3 over 2. So that's actually 0, so this part is kind of just goes away. So I don't really even need this. And so then I just get pi over 24, so pi over 24 is our answer. So that is an example of trigonometric substitution with a definite integral.